Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Rampage and welcome to my Metro Last Light Redux PC benchmark. Now, the settings that I'll be using are resolution 1920 by 1080, quality very high, SSA disabled, simply being because it's just a retarded setting and it basically halves your frame rate for stupid reasons. I don't know why they chose to use that over MSAA or FXAA. Um, but anyway, texture filtering, AF 16 times, motion blur, normal, because that's as far as it goes, tessellation, very high, and V-Sync off. I am also running advanced physics. So, let's choose a chapter. This one. Okay. So, this will be my benchmark level. Uh, I am currently using the default FOV, which is, I believe, something like 50.625 or some, something ridiculous. In the distance here, I also noticed that there's weird light flickering or something. I don't know whether that's artifacting or what's going on, but it just flickers for some reason. So hopefully they can fix that. Because it is kind of weird. But yeah. 68 frames per second. I don't know if it's actually dropped or 61. 58 frames per second. Okay. Fifty-seven frames per second. So we'll be trying to uh, drop the frame rate just by shooting um, to bring out the physics debris particles. Fifty. So yeah, after I've finished benchmarking it with these settings, I'm going to go ahead and benchmark it with the settings that I want to use for the better results. I also noticed that for some reason with this FOV as well, that the uh, time or the clock, your watch, whatever you want to call it, is kind of a little bit off, like it's slightly off screen. So with this FOV, it's going to be a little bit weird to actually see the time because sometimes it's actually nearly off the screen, which is annoying. 48 frames per second, that's the lowest I've seen so far. Wait, did I say 58? 48. 48. 40, 44 frames per second. I don't know what the wipe away button is because it's not actually in the controls menu so hopefully I can actually figure that out later on.
It just goes through me for some reason. <laughs> Nearly finished. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to have the minimum, average, and maximum frame rate on the screen. So that's the end of that benchmark. Now let's benchmark with the settings that I want to use. <laughs> because as you saw then, the frame rate was very varied. It was anywhere between, you know, 80 frames per second, and dropped down to 50 frames per second. So let's see if we can fix that. Okay, sorry about that. I have to do this section again because my camera ran out. But uh, these are the settings that I'll be playing with. Advanced physics enabled still. Okay, let's test it again. Hundred and thirteen frames. Hundred and twenty. So the overall frame rate is kind of all over the place. Like it might give you hundred and three frames per second or hundred frames per second. But then when you get to certain areas it'll dip all the way down to like seventy frames per second. Which is a little bit annoying. Hundred and thirty two frames per second. And I noticed up there that the GPU is at 98% rather than 99%, which is a little bit strange. 95, 91, 89, 87, 146 frames per second is the max. 150, Like the overall texture quality, I don't know if I've said this before, but overall texture quality is improved dramatically. But just performance-wise, it's a little bit, a little bit all over the place, to be honest. Did you just disappear? You just disappeared. Eighty one seventy seven frames per second. Oh. Yeah, see, it's dropped over, like, 30 frames now. <laughs> like, it was trying to be around 100 frames per second. Now it's at 65 frames per second, which is a little bit strange. Um, like, it, it is quite annoying that it drops that much, but I don't know. Like, the difference between having it at very high 
to high is quite a massive in increase in performance. But just as I said before, the overall performance is a little bit weird with perf uh, with frame rate. Sixty five frames per second. Full blown aimbot. <laughs> Die, god damn it. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't even watching the frames then, I don't know how far it went down. Seven. Oh, wrong way. Nearly finished. Okay, so I'll overlay the performance once again as minimum, average, and maximum frame rates. Hope you guys enjoyed this benchmark for Metro Last Light Redux. My name is Rampage. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.